Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of An Aussie Farming in the Philippines. Well, it's Saturday morning and it's Animal Update. Hello, gorgeous. How are you? Your water's okay. So this is a real quiet one, these two in here. They're as quiet as anything. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Quiet as anything. So they've got eggs underneath them, and she hopped in, but she only had one, because we've been taking them eggs out every day and eating them. But then she laid the last one, she sat on it, and I thought, okay, so I'll wait. And see, next day she was still there. So I've grabbed a heap of eggs from this one and put up under here. Polly's been a stir up. Polly, you stirring him up again? Stubbs? Stubbs, don't let her do that to you. Polly's running around in circles around here, stirring Stubbs up, saying, look at me, I'm free, look at me, I'm free. Don't let her get to you, big boy. All right, you get the goat food? So she will get the goat food for milking. So black bits, we get milked every morning and every afternoon. We milk her down because we don't want that mastitis in her titties at all. At all. It's there, but we need to keep it down. Right, so big yellow, yellow fella here, he's the one that was uh, free running around with this one here. But um, I ended up tying him up because he was shagging the girls too much. And the one that was tied up over here, the big fella, he got brutally attacked in the night. And what it was was Chick left the gate open up the back over here. And there's a big rooster, a big stud rooster up over the back there. He's, he's, it looks like Vietnam when Vietnam was younger. So the girls go to him for shagging and he walks up and down that fence line. Now what I'm thinking is that she, she left, because she left the gate open, he's come in early hours of the morning, they don't come in of the night, and he's tied up over here. As you can see, it's all worn down. And, hey guys, there you go. Ugh. Come out the wrong way. Go on. Right, so, and because all his head's been beaten up, his eyes and his head's totally beaten up. So uh, it wasn't a dog or a cat because it would be the whole the whole body would be wrecked, eaten. But it was just all his head, his crown, and his eyes. Now I've got him in the hotel. You have a look at him in a minute. I've got him in the hotel with uh, lots of medication on him, but uh, he's not moving forward at all. These two gorgeous ones. Look at these. They're going great. Oh, I don't know what their weight is, guys. But I tell you, look at them. Absolutely beautiful, these two. Absolutely beautiful. So I guess you've got to make sure you... Some, some farmers, as you know, they starve their fucking animals. But um, you can also go the opposite way. You can overfeed them as well. So that's why you've got to measure your food out. And if it's like for here, this, this one, for example, is the top of this rim here top of this room three times a day and that gives them their three kilos so they're two kilos two kilos a day okay so they get a kilo each but if, if i fill this up to the top then you're going to get too much and it's not going to work right so this is what they this is what we put in their water for them okay oh. it's been sitting there now for about 10 minutes so it should be nicely dissolved so the piggies are all okay, guys. They're going bloody great. Bloody great. Uh, turkeys, no issues with them. There's one over the back here. She's laying, I'll show you now. I'll have to collect her. Now, I took, I think it was about 10 eggs off of her that were laying there before she hopped on them. So there was 10 eggs. So I put them up here for an incubator. And there's a chicken up the end. They're right up the end box, you can't see it. But there's a chicken up there. She's the incubator. So this one here, now I've tried relocating the mother and the eggs and it just doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. Now she's got soaked up. So what I'll do is I'll steal her eggs today. She'll have come back again, there'll be no eggs there and she'll give up. Because otherwise she'll sit here, look, she's been in the rain last night. She'll be in the rain. I'm not going to build a shelter over there, that's Wilfredo's house. So I'll collect her. So the turkeys are going well. There is a chicken in the back there who's an incubator for them. So I'm happy with that. Happy with that indeed. Hey big fella. So this is the new big red. This one here, this is one that come from Stu. Ah. Okay, here we go. With this nice pink water. Now there's a chicken yesterday. Ah. There was a chicken yesterday standing in the water bowls. And Chick said, um, 
that one's thick. This is the stand in the water bowl. So what happens is, when they stand in the water bowl, guys, they do that to drop their temperature down because remember they've got feathers, they can't they can't do anything else, right? So what they do is they stand in the water bowls with their feet and it get it drops all their temperature down because that's the only thing they can cool down. That's the only thing they can cool. And bugger me dead. So that was last night. And um bugging me dead, I came out this morning and um yep, it was ass up playing dead ants playing dead ants with me so that went down into the creek uh, the creek's at full water flow at the moment which is good so the chickens are going well ish ish ah uh, see this rain really fucks them up so all i've got to do is keep this antibiotics up now the sick ones what i've done is i've given them the, these these meds here it's like the big yellow ones we were using but these ones here are small a small one but they're good for putting in the um for the littler chickens you know if you get a smaller chicken you've got that great big yellow pill so they actually work quite well so i put them uh, this is those yellow ones we were using these big bastards here look that's them so vietnam he's He's getting old now. I, we got him over when I was in Vietnam. So he's getting old, this guy. So um, you can see his, his eyes and his head. So I've pulled him out and I've put him into retirement into this box so he can retire happily ever after. This Vietnam. He's like, retire, man. Just take it easy. He's the old big red. Look, the big boy. The big bastard. So he's in having a rest in retirement as well. And uh, the other big red, as you can see him down below there, that's the one from Stu, he's taken over. We got the original, the big red, is um, someone come to us and said, I would like to give you a big red if you can give me three of your um, chickens, females. So we said, yeah, no problem, see what it goes like. And she's gone very well. He has gone very, very well. Like um, shag a lot, all, all the chickens are out over here at the moment, drop over the back. But um, yep, they go very, very well, very well. So this is Mama I let out the other day. Okay, she's got five, one, two, three, four, five. She was in this one here. So I let her out so I could put him in. Now, as you can see, this is the guy that got beaten up. All right, he's looking like shit. He absolutely got hash punched out of him. Absolutely pecked the shit out of him. Okay, okay. Peck the, that's the thing with chickens, with roosters, when they attack each other, they go right for the head. That's what they go for is the crown. You go right for the crown and the eyes, bang. But the thing is, I was up at um, quarter to five and I didn't hear nothing. Didn't hear fuck all. Didn't hear nothing at all. So um, it's a shame with him. Very sad. Very sad. These ones here are going into the pot. These ones. And I've got to get some more this weekend because Monday I've got to do... What are you doing? Monday I've got to do the... Um, Monday or Tuesday I've got to do the um, culling down get out the spin whizzer so this one has got balloon feet so what balloon feet is they've got an infection on their foot they've cut it by somehow and they've got an infection on their foot you know walking around on all the shit and everything else and it blows up into a balloon now you, you can't just pop it there's nothing there to pop okay there's nothing there to pop it's just hard skin so what you put on is some healing or withdrawing ointment um i remember that when i was a kid you said that you have a splinter in your hand and you rub that on and it actually just draws it right out so you got to put healing ointment on it you got to wrap it all up you got to rack all this other shit on it but so what it boils down to is the cost to fix her up i could buy 10 of her so it's not worth it so she'll go in the pot and she'll go to mama she will all right this one here he's had a little cough up the other day and uh, i've given him those yellow pills and these come quite good quite good but i don't want to let him out yet maybe tomorrow maybe inshallah maybe tomorrow these little guys I've separated and there's too many. So there's five in one, six in the other. They're going great. They'll get let out tomorrow. They'll get let out. These five are the same They'll with next door. Going very good, guys. I need these two hotels. You right there, Mama? Good. Keep them keep in the young. Now, because the hotels are all full, <coughs> we got the two chickens inside the feed room. They're in their own box. They're quiet ones. Now we have also, 
This black mama over here, this is one of um, Bing Maria's kids, is this girl. This is one of Bing Maria's kids. Now, her eggs, her eggs weren't much good, but she's a very good incubator. So I got other eggs for her. Now out of those five other eggs, I went in there yesterday and two of these little buggers hatched out. Remember, she's an incubator. Bing Maria's eggs are always black. So she, they're not her own eggs. So two were actually hatched out. So I checked all the other eggs and they just all gush inside. So I got rid of them. Now I didn't have a hotel for her, so I put her out down here. So she was quite happy down here. Then later on in the day, morning i was out i was out mowing along all the side areas here on the right on yesterday now she was sitting down here on this corner <coughs> excuse me she was sitting down here on this corner right here she was <coughs> excuse me guys so when i was mowing all down through here i was on the outside doing wilfredo's pathway when i got down to the road as i turned around there was a big cat walking from the front gatehouse down to this corner over here where we put the fence in now this was a big house cat this one i mean a big house cat and uh, it was brownish and tannish and white color on it and um i looked at that and went Shh! and it just ignored me didn't give a shit so anyway, I finished mowing everything away, blah, blah, blah. I put the mower back in. I went inside, grabbed the drink. And when I come back out, the cat was walking. The cat was walking along here. So it's come all the way up. Must have gone up to Mary Lou's way or something like that. So it was walking along here. And I just seen a last glimpse of it as it walked through here. And of course, this girl now, she's only got one. One little chicken. So I'm guessing putting one and one together makes eight. I'm guessing that um, she's walked across down through here and she's grabbed that little one and just kept walking because there's no way in the world she would lose a chicken. So what she's done now, she, she slipped in here last night and now she's up over here. So there you go. So that's all the animal update, guys. Everything is going good. Oh, to Daniel Nirenberg. Hello, Daniel. How are you? Yes, mate, I've got something for you, Daniel. I hope you're enjoying your holidays back home. Everyone remembers Daniel Nirenberg. He was um, he's the one who sent us. Remember all those beans? What are those beans called, darling? Bush. bush beans. Those bush beans. Bloody chilly, hot, and oh, fucking beautiful. I am almost well, ready. Nearly ready, right? So, Tick's getting ready for me to milk. So, I want to show you something, Daniel. So, Daniel, before he went back to the States, he brought this hammock over. So, we put it up here out the way, this hammock. This is a woven hammock. And the trouble was, all the chickens and turkeys were going inside and all the eggs were falling down. Which you can see, this is one of my big clean-up days coming, coming, guys. This is one of my big clean-up days. So what I did is I put a sack over the whole end of it. And inside is the baby. It's the girl. Hi, girl. I can't see if she's still in there. Is she in there, guys? Tell me. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. Wouldn't be good to have feedback like that. So, um... There you go, guys. That is the update. So, Daniel, your hammock is being used while you're away, but it's not used by us. It's been used by the chickens and the turkeys, and it's working good. Polly, girl, you are right? Polly's getting big now. She's getting a chest on her, look. She's getting a fat chest. Getting a fat chest on her. Little dog, oh, he's just a pain in the ass. Seriously, what a pain in the frigging ass. Hey, little dog. Hey, look at him. Hey, he's got a face that only a mother could love. And me. Hey, little boy. Lovely. He's absolutely beautiful, guys, I tell you. Right, Chick says, she said, little dogs and husbands are the same. You can't be cranky with them for a long time. You have to forgive them. And I totally agree with what Chick says. Hey, little dog. Hey? Yes? Ah. All right, guys, that's us. That's our farm update for the animals for this week. And I uh, hope you have a great weekend wherever you are. It's Saturday. We've got a lot to do again. And little dog, you want to say goodbye? Hey, right. yeah. Catch you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Please share, subscribe. Remember, subscription is free. Just hit that button and hit the like button on the way out as well. Catch you later, guys. Thank you all very, very much for your support with us on the Aussie Farm in the Philippines.